Hi everybody, Gerdy Verwoerd here, their Great League Guiding Coach with a Outlook Tower or whatever you want to it's called in English, I don't even know that in the background anyways so, episode 13 on how to safely hike mountains or any other part of nature because you can use these tips anywhere you go hiking for any kind of hiking that you want to be doing and I'm sure uh, not everybody is as lucky as I am to be living with mountains at their doorstep. Still, these tips can be used if, when you're an experienced hiker, when you are uh, a beginner, have never hiked mountains before or have never hiked anywhere before, or when you um, want to start solo hiking and have never really done that before so these are just reminders or helpful tips that will that will um, help you prepare and enjoy that hike that you're going to be on so tip number 13 always bring extra gear Pack more, always pack more than you think you will need. So, that's a lot of so's. Anyways, what is it that you then pack more of than you would usually pack? So I'll tell you what it is that I always carry in my backpack, even when I don't think I will need it. Rain gear, it doesn't even really leave my pack unless uh, I want to check whether or not it's still in good condition. That's the first thing. Rain gear is always in my pack. I always, always carry a woolen or fleece cap, a pair of mittens, fleece mittens, and a buff or something to keep my neck warm. Even when it's really warm, I carry those things with me. Because when it's really warm in the valley, it's not necessarily really warm up on the mountain. And it's not, it wouldn't be the first time that I'm standing on a summit somewhere and there's a nasty wind blowing, which makes it really cold. And then it's really nice to have these things with me. Also, rain gear doesn't just protect me from the rain, it also protects me from the wind. So, uh, as I'm usually hiking in shorts, and when the wind gets really cold, it's nice to be able to put on a pair of rain pants to keep my legs warm. So those are a couple of items that I always bring with me. And another thing that I always bring more of than I think I will actually need is food, snacks. Because when I happen to get stuck on the mountain a little bit longer than I anticipated, it's nice to have some extra food with me. When, for some reason, I need an extra push, an extra burst of energy, it's nice to have some extra food with me. When uh, my hiking buddy forgot to bring enough food or sometimes even forgets to bring food with him and believe me that's happened it's nice for me to be able to share some of my food with him and sometimes it's just uh, sometimes you run into somebody who is in some kind of trouble and then it's nice to be able to help them just by sharing some of your snacks or some of your gear with them it wouldn't be the first time I can't tell you how many times I've um, lent my mittens especially and sometimes my caps to people uh, I was hiking with, clients or guests, because they didn't bring that kind of thing and they were cold. And especially uh, caps and also your buff, something to keep your neck warm. Holding, keeping your neck and your head warm helps with keeping the rest of your body warm. You lose an incredible amount of heat through your... Uh, the skin of your head. So, always bring more gear than you think you will need. Even when the weather forecast says it's going to be nice and stable and the 
very comfortable temperature. It's nice to bring, to have some extra layers with you. Also, what I usually have in my pack is a jacket like the one I'm wearing. Umbrella, I don't usually carry with me, but uh, today I am. A jacket like the one I'm wearing or a fleece, something that um, I can put on when I'm just sitting in a windy spot and enjoying the view. Even if it's for only for five minutes, it's nice to stay warm. And when I off what I also often bring is a, um, a change of shirt and sometimes even a change of socks because it can also be once uh, when you've dipped your feet into the water with your sto shoes still on, it's nice to be able to put on some dry socks. So that's it. Those are a couple of the things that I always pack um, extra, bring with me extra into the mountains, just to make sure that should something happen, I at least um, can help myself and sometimes even can help others. Tip number 13, always pack more than you think you will need. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.